Hey guys, it's Mr. Boyd. So in this video, we're going to look at how do you uh, save your posted verifications report. So once you've finished all of your grades, you're going to want to come over here and click on grades. And then within the grades, come down here to post final grades. And you can use the grade book to start with, and then you may have to adjust some of those grades based on what you think students may deserve during this pandemic education time. Once you have posted your final grades for each class, you're going to want to verify those grades by coming over to Grades and then sliding right down here to Posted Grades Verification Report. Now after this opens, you're going to want to turn off some of these marking periods here because this is listing everything. So you need to turn off the interim, quarter one, interim two, quarter two, semester one, interim three, quarter three, interim four, and you can leave quarter four and semester two and the final year grade up. And then click on update. Okay, so this is what we what we have verified here. This is a good place to come over here and check and see if your semester grades are actually what you desired them to be and maybe go back and make some changes if you need to. Okay, now that we've verified these grades, we now want to either print them or save them. So for this exercise, we're going to talk about how to save these grade, this report as a PDF so that we can upload it to our shared team drive so that in the event somewhere during the summer uh, Ms. Griswold needs to access those grades, they will be in a shared folder and we don't have to go into the school to actually print those. So what we're going to do is now that we have the report up on the screen, we're going to click the download arrow. And then once that opens, we're going to use the naming convention um, that you see right here. So for this class, this is my first period class, I would name it Boyd underscore 19-20 for the year 1920 underscore grades underscore, and this is period one, so I would call this period one, and then just click save. I've already done this, so I'm going to overwrite it. Or replace it and that's really all there is to saving your um, your grade reports as a PDF in the next video I'm going to go over how to actually upload those reports into um, the shared team drive so tune in for the next video